In this video, I'm going to run through a fairly straightforward way that you can use to find the derivative of tan x from first principles. So we start with the first principles formula, and then we're going to define our variables. So f of x is simply going to be tan x, and you may recall that tan x is simply sin x over cos x, and it's going to be easier to work with this in the long run. We then need to find f of x plus h, and we simply substitute x plus h in place of x. And likewise, we're going to get sine over cosine, but this time it's going to be x plus h. Now, we can take these two and we can substitute into our original equation here. So we get this expression, and it looks not particularly helpful, and it looks far more complicated, but it is actually going to simplify really significantly. So we need to common denominator of this so that we can combine it. So top and bottom of this fraction has to be multiplied by cos x plus h. And then top and bottom of this fraction here is going to be multiplied by cos x. So I've done that here. And we've now got a common denominator. And so it means that we can combine this fraction and this fraction together. So we're going to combine these two. And then I'm going to take this h and move it upwards. So it's going to look a lot simpler. And so we're going to get this result here. So I've just combined the numerator. And then we've got that denominator and this h, because it's being divided on this fraction here, you'd be multiplying by 1 over h here. And so you'll end up with the h coming in the bottom. Now, you may recall that there is the sine a plus b formula. And there's actually a similar formula, which is the sine a minus b formula. And it's exactly the same as the sine a plus b formula, except that there's going to be a minus here. And what we can say is we can say that let's have x plus h be a, and then our b is going to be x. And this will actually let us use this formula here. So we're taking x plus h as a and x as b. And so when we do that, we get sine x plus h as our a, and then we've got minus because it has to be a minus b, and then our b is going to be x. So we actually get this expression here. And you should immediately notice that there's something very nice about this expression because uh, we've got an x here and we've got an x here. And these two are actually going to just cancel out, so they're gone. And so, so that will leave us with sine h. So we've got sine h here. So we've got something that is now considerably simpler. We can simplify this further by splitting it up into two. So we're going to split this up. So we're taking the sine h and the h bringing that out there, and then multiplying by everything that's left. And we do this because it's going to give us a much easier way of taking the limits. So this one here, the sine h over h, is a famous and common limit. And by using L'Hopital's rule, um, we can actually take the derivative of sine h, which is cos, and then we take the derivative of the bottom, which is going to be 1. And so we've got a cosine cosine of 0 is going to be 1. So this whole expression is actually going to become 1 when you take the limit. When we look at the other function, the only h that we've got here is this one. So we take the limit, h goes to 0. This will, of course, go to 0. And so you're left with 1 times 1 over cos x times cos x. So we've got that expression there. Cos times cos is simply going to be cosine squared. And of course, 1 over cosine squared is simply going to be secant squared. So we have proved from first principles that the derivative of tan x is secant squared. I hope this video was helpful to you. And finally, thank you very much for watching.